Come on. Here. There you go. Lift your leg. <laughs> Welcome back. Today is National Puppy Day. Uh, it's a real holiday, but it's um, also a great excuse. To... Ooh, yes. He can probably smell my Alsatian. You know what I mean? <laughs> Great excuse to have some cute dogs on set, but with so many different breeds of dogs, it can be difficult figuring out which one's best for you and your family. And Bondi vet Dr. Lisa Chimes joins us now to break it all down. Thank you for coming in and bringing in these little fellas. So these guys, who would be best suited to having this kind of a dog? Oh, these are Labradors, right? So who doesn't Universal suit a Labrador? Dog. No, yes. they are. They're, they're fantastic dogs, and I think... You know, it's ultimately going to come down to your lifestyle and what you can offer a dog, because the dogs take Gee, up a generous. lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <I'm funny. laughs> well, they've got a lot of love to give, haven't they? <laughs> there we go. Oh, my goodness. goodness. So if you don't have a backyard, you're in an apartment or something, what kind of dog could you go for there? It's not necessarily just smaller ones, is it? Absolutely not. I mean, there are some small dogs that are really energetic and they need quite a bit of space. Like this one. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not going to stay small for no. very long. But you'd be surprised that a breed like a greyhound, for example, does really well in an apartment. Isn't that They're amazing? actually quite a lazy dog and yeah. I often recommend them for apartment living. Yeah, I've got a small dog that's absolutely nuts and would be no good in an apartment. He's a Jack Russell. Ah! And... <laughs> 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 They're a very vicious breed, the Labrador, they are, aren't they? Watch out. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Oh, okay, good would you doggy. Like a smaller one, Carl? Good doggy. <laughs> good doggy. No, he's just a high energy, right? Yeah. He's just a puppy. How do you how do you harness the energy when they when they're little? <laughs> um, because I had a similar big dog. He's <laughs> worn you out already. Chances like was was a big puppy as well, but how do you train them? Because uh, they've got so much energy. It's, a, it's more to do with how do you kind of stimulate them in their environment, physically and mentally. So providing all sorts of enrichment toys. You know, there are all those feeding puzzles and lick mats and all those sorts of things to keep their mind busy and keep them ent occupied. And then obviously the exercise, so playing games and getting them to run around and going for walks, all of that will help have you have a calmer easier to handle puppy. They can be expensive. I think it's a good thing to get insurance if you can afford it, right? Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, no, he's got my <laughs> script. the script. I don't know what to ask anymore. <laughs> it's all over uh, for me. <laughs> definitely insurance. Uh, it, it's one of those things that, you know, I'm an emergency vet, so you'll right. get hit with these sorts of mm. unforeseen events all the time. I should have had insurance. insurance. My dog got bitten by a brown snake. Oh, $8,000. Oh, wow. Was lucky to be yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah. and that, yeah. that's what it costs, if not yeah. more. So having insurance gives you that that peace of mind mm. that if something unforeseen happens you can cover it um, let's talk about young kids and dogs how do you pick the right one for your family and um, because they obviously if they're really young kids but I've got it again I'll tell you this that, that the German Shepherd that we have is so good with Harper mm -hmm. like incredible did you, did you have your child first or the dog first the dog first yeah interesting mm. you know yeah. there's there's a wee We've got yeah, a wee no, cleaner yeah, if you out. want to give it a spray. Chewed up the, chewed up the script, script and had a wee. <laughs> Better out than in, isn't it? I think yeah, is that critical commentary? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I think the, the thing is with kids, it's, it depends on whether you're getting a puppy or an older dog. And if you're getting a puppy that's raised with kids, I mean, I've got four kids and three dogs, and two of them we wow. got as puppies when the kids, after the kids, and one we had before we had the kids. And it's different, you know, if you've got a dog that lives with you and you you add kids to the mix, that dog's going to have a massive lifestyle change and you've got to work really slowly to make sure they adapt. And if you have kids and you get a puppy, well, then you can kind of mould that puppy to be a dog that gets along with kids. So... Um, it, is it good to have a second dog? Is it good to have? I've got three. Afford? So what yeah. do you think? <laughs> and can you bring can you bring a puppy along with an already established dog? Absolutely. I think if you've got a dog, are you have you got ideas, Carl? No, I just <laughs> there you go. I just want I just want a dog that's like sleepy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think you know if you've got a dog that Not gets that along with other dogs and you introduce <laughs> a puppy or another dog, it's all doable. I think yeah. you know dogs are social animals. They do so well when yeah. they live with other dogs. You get less separation anxiety and less behavioural issues. So I'm all for multiple dogs if you can handle yeah. the cost and you the might lifestyle. Have a greyhound um, <laughs> do you know I love greyhounds? I love. Them. I think amazing. they're beautiful creatures. I agree. I love them. Yeah. They, I think they're so 
misunderstood yeah, and I love underrepresented. Them. They're great. I love the Greyhounds as well. Good on you. Thank you so much. And a huge thank, thank you, you too. Uh, is it Lacote? Lacote, Lacote Labradors, <laughs> Lacote Labradors. If you want one of those, uh, they're based in Arcadia yeah. in Sydney, but provide the most beautiful pups um, in gorgeous. the world. They're gorgeous. Okay. Cup, you taking that one, huh? Yes, this one's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Your handbag.